Uh, so this video we're just going to go through some uh, balancing equations examples. Uh, so the first few pages, couple of pages, they contain uh, some unbalanced equations and then uh, we'll go through the answers. Uh, you can download uh, the worksheets and answers by following the link at the bottom of the page there. So try to have a go at uh, doing a few of them uh, before you have a look at the answers. So we'll go through uh, the first ones here. So these are questions, the first 10 questions here. So have a go, um, see how you get on. And the final set of questions on this page. So again, uh, I download it, if download the worksheet, uh, so you don't have to copy them out, uh, so you don't make any uh, errors when copying the formulae down. Um, notice that for uh, 16 and 17, uh, you've been given a starting point uh, for the left hand side uh, because they are a little bit trickier. Right, so it's time to go for the answers. Uh, so hopefully you got through these okay. Um, really it's looking for uh, the key uh, starting point. So we can have a look at question two. Uh, for example, uh, you will see that you have got uh, barium chloride is of course BaCl2 there. So it must mean that you have got two NaCl's produced on the right hand side, which then means you've got two NaOH on the other side. Uh, so most of these are quite straightforward. Uh, maybe eight is a bit of a challenge, um, but again, key thing here is that you have got uh, uh, three sulfates here. So that means you're gonna have to start, uh, that, well, that means you're gonna have to have a three there uh, to get your three sulfates. Um, and uh, that means you're going to need two uh, A L O H three A because you've got a two there as well, and then you balance the sodium hydroxide. And the final answers. Um, so, uh, so eleven uh, isn't isn't too bad at all. Uh, you just need two waters to be produced. Um, and uh, probably the the hardest one there. Obviously, 16 is a bit of a challenge, which is why you've been given a starting point for that one. Um, and also 19 and 20, that can confuse people. You can see it's actually not too bad um, when you get into it. Of course, the starting point for those would be uh, your uh, Na3, Na3 there, which means you must have a 3 there, and therefore you've got 3 waters, and the same for this one here. And 18 is uh, is balanced, so it doesn't need uh, any big numbers in front of it. So I hope you got on well with those. Uh, as I say, it's a, it's a key skill to have um, as we start A-level chemistry.